The reason I'm putting this tread metal foundation down uh, as a raised floor is because A, I think it looks badass, but functionally speaking, if you guys watch, you know, me build this building out, you'll know, especially when we start getting over here, we just got some really weird merged and angled and clipped foundations and I want everything for the machines to be on a nice straight grid. Um, so I figure, well, the easiest way to do that is just do a raised floor. Plus, I, again, I do think it looks kind of nice, too. So we have a double benefit from it. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started uh, building out our factory, the machines of our factory, here in our reverse stadium steel factory build here. Uh, I did put all of the blueprints for the architecture of this build uh, up on the Google Drive. You can find the link to the Google Drive in the video description for anybody that's interested in uh, building the same thing. Um, so that is there. Uh, I have also set up some hyper tubes here uh, to get up to the second and third floors. Um, these hyper tubes may not be the final hyper tube configuration, um, but it's something you know that just gets us going for now, so we can you know get up to all the floors. Of course, we're only going to be working on the first floor uh, today, so. That's in place. Oh, and then I also built these little um, access ways uh, down to the uh, logistics floors, too. So, um, our focus today is going to be getting our uh, conveyor belts hooked up to the factory. we got to do a little bit of work on the power. And then, um, hopefully, we'll get our fine concrete uh, machines up and running by the end of this episode. We'll see how things go. That's a that's a lot of work, but we'll see what we can do. All right, now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the power. Um, we're going to do a couple things here power-wise. So what I want to do is actually here, let's get back up here for a minute. I want to go in and grab a power switch, and we're going to stick that power switch right there. And we're going to connect you to there and take you off. And I think... Uh, nope, that stayed connected up there. Okay, good. So that's, that's fine. Let's come back down here. Uh, we're going to want to run from you back up to here. Is it... Okay, hold on a second. From you to... Oh, it says it's already connected with another wire. Um... It is? What wire is that connected to? What if I go from here to here? Already connected with another wire. I'm confused. All right, let's just let's just take that down altogether, and we'll reset it. No, 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 no. There. Now it's connected. I must have had run some other wires inside of there um, to fix that up, but it could have... Uh, maybe I even brought it down. Oh, I bet you I brought it down off of that one. That's probably what happened there. Okay, let's put this back in place. Uh, now what we want to do is grab you and put you right there. 
and then we'll run this down below to here. And then I think what I want to do with this guy is move him over to there. Okay, so that should get the power hooked up to the factory. Beautiful. Let's also turn the switch on. And... I'd like to maybe enclose this. I'm gonna have some odd things going on. Okay, let's freeze that and just push it back to there. Maybe we'll do this. that. What if we actually use this instead? There we go. Okay, freeze that there and then just push it back to here. Well, that's not going to work because then we can't get in there. Let's take these back down. Grab this rail here. Oh, I guess that would work. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. And then over here... Can we just put, like, a wall in? Well, let's bring it out to, yeah, out to there. There we go. That works pretty good. If we get a sign here, um, let's go with... That sign. Is it upside down? Son of a bitch. That used to say shenanigans, and they removed it, but they still have the shenanigans. Okay, so we're going to call this Power Main. Um, can we... Yeah, we'll show the switch. Let's change the text color to... Um, blue but a lighter blue. And maybe what we'll do is our main. Let's go with that one. We'll have this uh, illuminate a little bit. Actually, I'll, mm, I don't know if it will. Well, it might from the blue. We'll see. And then I was going to do one other thing. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to do now. Oh, I know what I was going to do. The background. Oh, this will replace... Yeah, never mind. That'll replace the power switch if we do that, so... That looks pretty sexy. Maybe... Let's make the... Actually make the blue a little bit darker. Maybe even darker still. I, I don't like the way the blues show up with the lighting in this game. 
is they don't correspond. Because if you look at this, this is a pretty, still a pretty light blue color if you ask me, but it, you know, look at this and then look at this. <laughs> it's not matching. Um, so, you know, whatever. That's good enough. That takes care of getting our power hooked up. Now we're going to work on getting our conveyor belts connected. Next. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to have to set up a temporary platform down below. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this tile here. But we're going to switch to one meter and go to vertical. We want to bring this down four. Uh, whoops. Vertical. Two, three, four. And then that fourth piece there is the platform that we will need to work off of. Let's get up here. And again, this is temporary. We're not, this won't stay here. I'm going to also run these out to here a little bit. And then let's run some more this way. And all the way to there for the nonce. This line coming in here is our Caterium line. Uh, and it's coming off of, there's a Caterium node right here. Um, and that's going to be uh, providing wire for us, making Caterium wire. Or, yeah, Caterium wire, I think it's called. Um, so that's, and, and since that one's the closest to this pillar, we're going to run this one first. So let's go ahead and grab it. We're using Mark III for everything by default except for uh, stuff that's going to need Mark IV. Which has kind of been my MO for this whole entire playthrough so far, using Mark III. Just because I like the look of it. and There's no harm in using a little bit faster belt, even when you don't need to. Other than it costs steel beams, but we got lots of steel beams. And we're going to have even more once we're done with this thing. So, yeah, we're good. All right. Let's grab a... Well, here, actually, let's just do this. We're going to grab you. We're going to make sure we're in straight mode. Uh, what did I do? Just... I think I just accidentally... I must have hit T and removed the HUD up, not meaning to. Okay, we need to be over right here. And we'll just go one inside there. Okay. Um, let's get a Mark III lift. And actually, I'm going to actually put the Mark III on the belt instead of the one because I use the three so much more. And then we'll just bring this up to the roof uh, or the ceiling and then set it in place there. Now we're going to line up ceiling hangers, evenly spaced out all along through here. Up to that point. And I think we need seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Let's go over here now. And we're going to want to reset this Mark IV belt. So that it comes down to here. And then this is a Mark III here. Several episodes ago, four episodes ago maybe, or three, three or four, I went through and showed showed you all the logistics um, or the, you know, the resource inputs. So refer back to that episode if you need to, to figure out, you know, what all this actually is. Uh, but the long and short of it is we needed, um, well, actually here, I wanted to show this to you anyway, so let's pop, uh, let's pop that up for a minute. 
so this is our our build here and i will also uh, put this, this is satisfactory tools i'll put the xml file for this in the google folder if anybody wants it too uh, but these are our raw resources here that we're bringing in so there's a total of five of them uh is that right no six i was gonna say um, but we have to put the cut the limestone on two different belts because we have more than 480 which is the max we can handle right at the moment uh, so that's why we have two belts of limestone and what we are working on today specifically is the alternate fine concrete recipe here so we're, we're building up to this point here okay this is going to take multiple episodes of course to build out this factory but that's normal it's just just a lot of planning that has to go into it. it takes a long time okay anyway um let's go ahead and turn that off now all right so we want to bring uh, the mark four back first and i think what we'll do for that is we'll come over to here so let's put the hanger right there and we'll do the same thing for the mark three that's looking good okay and then we'll bring the uh, mark four belt over to here and the mark three belt this one I think we have to uh, we have to get out of straight mode for this one because otherwise it doesn't want to behave because of, just because of the closeness of the bins and all that oh um yeah we're gonna need to that's not gonna work is it We're going to need to move these hangers out. I'm going to move the Caterium hanger out too, just because I want them all to be even with one another. For optics. Okay, let's run this one again. That one should be able to stay in straight mode, but this one... Is it going to... Yeah, see, it won't... Oh! It does do it in straight mode. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay, let's double check this now. Woo, that's a long way down. Okay, that looks straight as far as I can tell. I think we're good. Let's check this side. Yep, that's looking good. All right, we are finished then with this platform over here. Let's filter it. Wait a second. Try that again. Filter. There we go. Now we just bring uh, you around to here. And you around to here. Which have nice straight curves. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we'll put a Mark III lift on you, and a Mark IV on you. Now let's do the next ones that we need to do. Um, okay, so we're going to run the coal... And then I think the iron and then the copper and the quartz last. I want the quartz on the outside and you'll see why, you know, once we start the build. Okay, so so this is a coal and it needs to be Mark IV. Um, definitely need just Mark III for the quartz. And we're going to need to go up there to determine which one of these is going to be... 
coal and iron, so we know, you know, which one's going to be Mark 4 and Mark 3. So let's run up here. This can be a Mark 3. Make sure its input is out that way. Alright, let's fly on up to the top here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take this out. And we're going to need to remove those guys because they're going to be in the way otherwise. We'll bring the quartz straight down to here. And then we should be able to hook up a lift here and bring it down to there. And hook that into there. Okay, that's looking good. Let's remove these belts and this. I don't think we even need this here anymore. This is kind of a placeholder for now. So it looks like we have iron in the middle and copper on the top. Um, okay, so that means then we want to put a splitter here. With the output on the left and... I think positioned right there. But moved over to the, uh, to there, I think. <laughs> this is going to be iron. Right. Okay. So before we go any further, let's make sure I set that wind up correctly here. Oh, um, let's also pop you in here. Need to reverse you. Oh, that's down too far. It is lined up correctly. It's just height wise. It isn't. That's good. Okay, then we should be able to just run you, whoops, right into here. That's looking good. Okay. Get a Mark IV lift into you and down to here. All right, now we know this one's going to be a Mark III, so we can hook this one up right now. And then let's go back up top there to get it linked up. Okay, so this one should go like that, and I think that's correct. And we're using copper for the uh, iron ingot alloy recipe. That's why we're bringing copper into here. Okay. Mark three lift for here. Want it to be green. There we go. That looks good. 
And then what we'll do just for realism here is we'll put a lift underneath both of these guys so they have some support. Oh, it's too far over. That should be right. That hooks up everything up on this end. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take... Well, here, let's grab our coal first, which is Mark IV. And we're going to bring the hanger right out to the edge there. And we can also... Hold it back. Yeah, let's just hold it back to there. Then we're going to take ceiling hangers and we're going to go one there, one there, and one there. Is that straight? Yeah, I guess so. It's looking kind of weird. Okay, let's pick this platform up back to here. Copper is Mark III. Iron is Mark IV. And Quartz is Mark III. But that one's not going to quite reach, so we're just going to Do this, and then this, and remove that. Okay. Now, all we need to do is just link them up. So, we're going to take and put the in here. Oh, that doesn't quite reach, does it? Okay. So, why don't we... Why don't we use these hangers here to line up? Okay, turn west. Oh, actually, I want that to go back to here. Just so they're lined up with these hangers here. Okay, now we're going to want you there, you there, and you there. Okay, is that all looking kosher? So, copper, iron, and quartz. Okay, I think. That's all looking good. So let's come over here. And we will remove all of this stuff here. Get it all? I want to keep that little bit over there. That looks nice and straight. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah, let's leave 
uh, that platform there because we're going to actually need to continue it over to here for a bit. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're going to need to start a platform up there. Okay, so let's set this to vertical, set this to one meter, and go down one, two, three, four. Um, just gonna actually take that to there for now. And we're gonna need to go way down there to finish the build here. Okay, that's good enough for that. Okay, so copper needs mark four, or sorry, coal needs mark four, and iron needs mark four. And then you guys need Mark Three. Oh, for goodness sakes. I made those too high. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and just leave this the way it is for the moment. And uh, what the hell? Oh, I guess I accidentally zooped that down through there, not meaning to. Silly me. <coughs> All right. Next. We are going to go into our blueprints and we're going to grab Fine Concrete Assemblers A. This is in the Assemblers category in the Steel Factory subcategory. And we want this to be one foundation over that way. And oh, and yeah, okay, I had to think about it for a second. And one foundation from the front. And I also do not have it turned the right direction. Of course, I don't. It needs to go this direction. All right, that looks correct. Let's lock it. Lock it and build it. We're going to leave quite a bit of space in the back here um, for parking for one reason. And, yeah, I, I guess that's really kind of the main reason that we're doing it that way. But, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to put... We're going to go back to our blueprints and we're going to grab Fine Concrete Assemblers B. And we want to make sure, yeah, that that's going that direction. And then this just connects right up against here. Okay, hold on. It's actually oriented on one of the diagonal foundations and not the square. So we got to... And actually, if we go into blueprint mode... There. That's what we need to do. Just need to make sure it's going the right direction. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's build it. Just 
just double checking and making sure everything's looking correct. Okay, good. Now, um, what we have going on here is we have four constructors uh, making silica. Three of them are default clock settings. The fourth one is overclocked to uh, 43.155 in order to make the total amount that we need. Um, so that total amount is uh, 184.425, yeah, 0.425 per minute. That screen's kind of small. Um, oh, sorry, that's not showing up. Uh, so, so right here. So basically, we need 4.9 constructors to make 184.425 silica per minute. Okay, and so the um, math comes out to so we have three outputting 37 and a half per minute so if we go 37 37.5 times 3 plus 71.925 That brings us up to 184.425, which is exactly what it shows here. 184.425. Okay. So we know we got that set correctly. I have um, opted to have the output of the silica. Uh, the silica output to be above the floor and the reason for that is because we're going to be setting logistics up underneath the floor for the concrete and I didn't want those two interfering with one another so that's what's going on there okay we have a total of 12 assemblers um and each of them are producing 50 concrete except for this one which is overclocked who produce 64.75. All right, so if we go, um, uh, let's just do 12 times 50 plus 14.75. I'm just checking here on the screen to make sure I've got that math correct. Well, that comes out to 614.75, right? And so if we look on our sheet here and we go to items, 614.75 is the total amount of concrete that we're going to need. So our math is good. All we have to do for the silica is we just have to hook up these, link these two belts together here, and then we're golden. Everything else is done. Well, on the output, I should say. we got to do the inputs. So with the input situation, we have a, a we have something kind of weird going on because we've got the we got this big support right here, right? So what we have to do is here, let's actually get down underneath here. put that back in place so we're gonna have to route it uh, you know the input of the quartz around this support because I didn't want to go through it that would look dumb and it wouldn't be realistic either because you don't want to weaken that support it's holding all the way to this building so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a conveyor lift hole here and we'll just put it right in the middle And we're going to grab a lift here and put you like that. That all looks good. And then we put you right here. All 
All right, so temporarily, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these blocks in place here. And then we're going to run a line here, and we can't ha be in straight mode. We have to be in default mode. And we want to run it. Can't see what I'm doing here. We want to run it right to there. Except for straight, of course. Well, straight-ish. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, let's put a hanger in there so the hanger itself is straight. Because it was twisted just a little bit. And that's just because we're dealing with weird angles here. Oh, you know what? Actually, too, now that I think about it, we gotta go down. We gotta go down one. There we go. That looks nice and straight. And we're finished with that part of things. And then we just put these blocks back in place here. That should take care of our quartz. And everything seems to be flowing through. I did test this and it, it all seemed to work, but you know how things go sometimes. Okay. Now let's do our concrete. This is a little more involved. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut away these foundations here. And we're going to also need to do the same thing over here. So starting with you. Cut all of that and cut all of this. And we'll replace these. Uh, oh. What the hell, man? I released the mouse button a little too soon. Very good. Let's put that there too. Now what we're going to do is we need to come back to here. We're going to grab a Mark III lift and we're going to bring it down to the floor and we're going to point it towards the center. And we're going to repeat that same process with this guy. And actually, I'm going to do that with all of the lifts. I'm going to have to reset the lifts, but I'd rather have them down here so I can make sure they're perfectly lined up. There we go. Incidentally, I didn't mention this, but the reason I'm putting this tread metal foundation down as a raised floor is because A, I think it looks badass, but functionally speaking, if you guys watch, you know, me build this building out, you'll know, especially when we start getting over here, we just got some really weird merged and angled and clipped foundations, and I want everything for the machines to be on a nice straight grid. Um, so I figure, well, the easiest way to do that is just do a raised floor. Plus, I, again, I do think it looks kind of nice, too. So we have a double benefit from it. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a splitter here. And we want that to be lined up that way with the input on this side. 
And we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay. Then we're going to run these down. We're going to wrap around this side. We want to make sure the input is on this yeah, facing that way. And let's do splitters over here too, but one of these is going to be a merger. And this one's going to be a merger. And I'll explain why that is, but it's because we have, um, you know, two different belts of concrete, right? So that one's a merger. Okay. Now, I'm going to reset all of these lifts. It gets all of our lifts set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring the... Those lifts are kind of clip, clipping into the side of there. Uh, shit. I should have held that ceiling hanger one more thingy out. All right, I might fix that later, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so let's grab the Mark IV line, and we want to bring it over to... That actually looks okay. But I... Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, what I want to do... And this is mostly going to be for clearance purposes, because remember, we're also going to have to get coal, iron, and copper over there somehow, though I'm probably going to route those around the outside edge. But I think it would look better if we go into straight mode and come out to here. And this is right about where we need to be. Uh, I'm sorry, not straight mode, default mode. However, I want that to hang off the ceiling, not on the floor. Plus the fact that that's a little bit crooked. Yeah, that's where I want that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, nope. Not you, you. Okay, you come to here. What would you look like if I wanted you to come to there in straight mode? Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna behave. Okay, I didn't think so. We still have a little bit of an angle here, don't we? What if we take... Here, take that back. What if we take and put a hanger there, maybe? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Let's try it. The other question, too, is it going to cause problems with this? Um, if we... Let's just temporarily put that there. No, it clears it. Okay. It's close, but it clears it. Does that bend look okay? Uh, I mean... I think that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Unless I, unless we did a half nudge on this. Let's try a half nudge.
See, not even that's not perfect, but we're going to go with it. It's, it's slightly better than it was before. Okay, and then you should... Nope, I want the belt. Go back into straight mode and you should go in there nice and neatly. Um... Yeah, I think that's okay. So, we just want to bring you down to... here and then two this way uh, nope get out of straight mode okay I think that's good now go back into straight mode and what the hell really Um, why doesn't that work? I don't know. Let's just not use straight mode. It doesn't like it for some reason. But the belt is straight. So I think we're good. So on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to run... Well, okay, hold on. Let's consider something here. Um, we have a total of 737.7 limestone coming in. If we subtract 480, which is what's on the Mark IV belt, that leaves us with 257, which uh, a Mark III can handle because Mark III can do 270, right? Okay. So that means if we take 257... 0.7 and divide that by 4 um, it gives us 4 uh, no sorry divided by 50 yeah that's what we want okay so that means we, we can feed 5.154 let's look at something oh it's 60 I was going off of 50 that explains it okay So we need to divide this by 60. There we go. So now it's 4.295. Right? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the 0.295 will be merged uh, into this fifth assembler. With all of the rest of it, of course, wrapping around and merging into there. And it should be perfectly load balanced because I set up the miners to produce a total of 737.7 .7 limestone. All right. Now, on this side, we're going to need... Uh, let's do this. We have 400, uh, 480 coming in. So if we multiply... Uh, minus 1, 2, 3... Four. So we need to to go up to four with a Mark IV belt before it drops below 270. Okay? So this is one, two, three, four. And then from here, everything is now 240, and these can be Mark III belts. All right. I think we're about ready to fire this thing up. We just need to get the power hooked up. And if I did everything else correctly, it's a big if. We should be good to go. Um, let's just leave this cutout here momentarily until we're, we're sure everything's working. So let's run a power line along this seam over to there maybe. 
Yep, out to there. That's good. Oh, we also need to hook up, connect the power between the two blueprints. So we just link this guy up to you. And this one up to you. There, that should link all the power. Oh, I completely forgot to tell you guys. Um, I went ahead and handcrafted all the stuff that I needed to learn the Mark V blueprint. You may have noticed that each one of these blueprints is five tiles uh, wide on a five by five grid. So, yeah, I, I went ahead and, and just took it. It didn't take too long. And, well, I didn't totally handcraft it. I actually set up a manufacturer and some machines and just, you know, put it all together to get all the stuff that we needed to to learn that milestone. Milestone reached. The blueprint Mark II improves upon the Mark I in every dimension, except for the metaphysical ones. This improvement was made available due to complaints from pioneers about other pioneers not being capable of managing their space efficiently. We listen to pioneers always. So let's just go there and then down here. And here we go. Moment of truth. Boom. Okay, I see yellow, yellow indicator lights on all of the machines, so we know the power is good. And now we just have to wait and see if everything is feeding through. Okay, so we're getting silicate there and it's popping out there. I think we're all good. These outputs were messed up. This would be accumulating, so we're good on all of those. This one's overclocked, so it's producing a little faster. Okay, so I think the silica machines are moving and grooving. Now, are we getting silica all the way down here and into each one of these machines? So we got silica there. This one does not have silica. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, you do. Okay, so you're getting silica. You obviously are because you're producing. You're producing. What about you? You're also not getting silica. Okay, so that means we need to reset these lifts. Because sometimes they just decide to be wonky like that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, so now silica is going in and you are producing. Okay, we'll reset the lift there. In fact, I should... Uh, Let's fix that in the blueprint, too. So our blueprints are working. Um, I think I did put these blueprints on the Google Drive, though. So if you guys do happen to use these, you, you'll, you'll probably have to fix that on your end, at least until I uh, update it later, which I'm not going to do right now. But we, I'll fix the blueprint on my end, so at least it's correct. All right, let's go to assemblers. This is the A version. And it was this lift right here that was not set right. Okay. And then we also have the B version. I think it was the second one from the end. Yeah, so that one's not getting silica. You're probably just... Yeah, you're getting it. You just... we got to wait for the manifold. So it's the second one from the end that we got to reset on that one. Well, let's do it over here, too.
I want to see silica come down through there. Hello, there it goes. Okay, so it's working. I have to wait for the manifold to do its thing. So you need to be reset. That should be good. Okay, I see green lights on everything except for... Oh, that one just turned green. Okay. So I'm just going to double check. I... Th yeah, okay. I was going to say, I thought I saw a green light on that one. I did. That one's got it. Those are both green, so we know they're working. Um... Yeah, I think we're I think we're good guys. It's just now it's just a matter of waiting and for the manifold to get fully saturated to get everything running at a perfect efficiency. Uh, but like I said, I set up our miners out in the field to send the exact amount <coughs> of resources. Um, so it's perfectly load balanced in terms of the inputs. And we shouldn't uh, have any you know any backups or any waste or anything like that. Last thing we're going to do for this episode is we're going to now remove... Oh, I was going to... I am going to fix this, but I'll do that off camera. Um, so those aren't... Uh, all we have to do is just move those hangers out a little bit. So I'll fix that off camera. But uh, let's remove all of this stuff here. And see what it looks like from down below. And make sure, you know, that everything is straight and pretty like it's supposed to be. That looks good to me. I think it's straight and I think it's pretty. Let's go ahead and fill the floor in here. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> Uh, by the way, we are going to set up truck stations down here. Um, the exact configuration, I'm not exactly sure, but the general idea, just to, uh, you know, to let you know, is we're going to do a station here, one there, one there, one there, just kind of all the way down along here. And this... You know what? I completely forgot about something. We're going to cut this all out. That's just, yeah. We need a return back up to the highway for the trucks. Because the idea is that they come in along here, they pick up their stuff, and then they kind of just you around and go back up and ramp out back to the highway. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that later. But basically, it's just another ramp just like this one. Uh, you know, going back up from there. So it's not going to be complicated at all. And honestly, I don't even think we're going to need... We probably won't even start utilizing the trucks until later. Um, because once I have, have finished this, you know, we're just going to be producing the steel products and we're, we're going to put them in, in the dimensional depots um, until we start building our next factory and we need to start supplying this product. And that's when we'll set up the truck stations and the truck lines. I might get the stations set up ahead of time so they're ready to go. But my point being is that we won't need to use them right away. Ladies and gents, I think that is it for this episode. So what I'm going to do is start working on the next part, uh, which will probably be our iron production. Get that all planned out, get the blueprints uh, going, figure out the routing for the conveyor belts, and when I'm ready... To uh, with that, we'll start the next episode and do the next part of the build of the factory. I didn't really... I guess I didn't show you the finished product either um, in terms of the, the building. So let's just do a quick flyby on that. 
I'm sorry. I've, it's been a few days, of course, as you all probably know who watch me on a regular basis. Since I did the last episode, there's a few reasons for that. Um, one is it, it just, you know, it takes a long time to figure all this stuff out, and I want to have it figured out before I do an episode. So I'm not hemming and hawing the whole time and wasting everybody's time. But I honest, uh, to be completely honest with you, I needed, I needed to take a little bit of a break from Satisfactory because I, I mean, I absolutely love the game, but I have been, you know, eating, drinking, breathing, and sleeping Satisfactory since September 10th. <laughs> I mean, every, almost every gaming moment, which for me is a lot because this is my second job essentially. You know, and I, I just, you know, I don't want to get burned out on it, right? So I needed, needed to take a little bit of a break. Um, you will not be seeing daily episodes from me moving forward for the time being. Um, I would expect more like one to maybe three episodes per week, just depending upon, you know, how other factors go. So I just wanted to share that information with you. Uh, don't worry, though. We're not, you know, I'm not stopping the game. I'm going to, you know, this is going to be a, a, a long, slow burn, guys. Um, this series... M could last months or maybe even years um that is my intent for it anyways and you know we're not in a hurry right so we'll get it done when we get it done and we'll enjoy the process anyway um yeah so i finished all of this out uh as you can see we put the beams in i i ran the trim along there i did decide to keep the trim blue just because it add added a little more color plus the fact that you know these rails are blue too so it's not just all grays and charcoals and and that and i think it looks really good so yeah, there we go. I didn't really do anything else different out here. And I think that's all I have to show you for now. It's all running, running good. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.